Okay, now the whole uh, diameter tunnel that's on this whole axis, uh, it's difficult to go by the dial here, the cross feed dial. It uh, reads zero to 400, and that's like a bunch. So if you want to get better in a couple of thousands consistently, you really need to put a dial indicator on here. And I just got a little AGD indicator on this, uh, I don't know, this mag base, this little mag base. And I got one of those little bent points and I can stick it on here. And uh, bottom it out usually, but then a turn, and I can zero it, and then like uh, feed it in a few thousands. See? We'll put it right there and move that to zero. Now. When you adjust the cross slide for a cut, only do it when the machine's running, and I'll see if I can demonstrate why. The, the motor's running, like these things do, but the clutch is not engaged. So I'll turn the camera around and get you right on top of that. I'm really hoping that the glare is not going to be, it looks like the glare is bad there. I don't know if I can find a good spot. Maybe right there. It seems like maybe. I got it on zero. Now I'm going to, I'm going to pull the clutch here. I might have to try, try this several times because I have a hard time seeing this in the camera here. Okay, it's on zero and I'm going to pull the clutch and start it. Do you see what happened? It jumped uh, forward two ten thousandths. Let's try that again. I'm going to pull it back. I'll put it right there. We'll see how the glare is there. We'll try in a couple of spots. I'm going to set it on zero. And I'm going to pull the clutch. You see, it's jumping ahead two ten thousandths from the shock of the machine starting. So, if you wanted to make a cut, with it on that zero, you want to adjust it with the machine running like it is now, the chuck turning. And you have to kind of creep up on it from the stick slip. See, there it stayed. Okay, I'm going to stop the machine. I'm going to start it again. It's staying on zero. Look at that. It jumped two tenth. Well, a tenth. A tenth and a quarter. <laughs> so, that's one of the problems with machines. Here, I'll stop this. I'm back. Yeah, you kind of run into the stick slip, and it's really a problem on the tool and cutter grinder too. And often, when you're dialing it in, it'll keep creeping a little bit. So you pretty much have to, to get reasonable accuracy, use like a tenth reading indicator like this one. It's got a bit of range and it works pretty good. And you can uh, uh, 
you know, pretty easily hold a half thousandths, you know, if your uh, tools, <laughs> tools are sharp. And they should be because you got a tool and cutter grinder, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice thing to have. But the tool and cutter grinder is really susceptible to that. And it, 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 see me using this thing, I'll leave the wheel running. Leave the wheel head running. And uh, just because starting and stopping, it really causes that jump. And that two ten thousandths is almost a half thousandths off a diameter error. So when you're adjusting for the next cut, only do it with the machine running and then let it settle out a little bit. Okay? Okay. <laughs>
have a half inch end mill in there and I want to enlarge the, this to half inch it'll get it pretty close and pretty good finish It's pretty well centered. Seven thousand silver size. But it works in a pinch if you don't need high accuracy. Okay, let's go out uh, out front and look at the stuff I have in the driveway. Heading on out this door. <laughs> Okay. Now here's the hard inch chucker. And uh, I'm just going to sell this because I really don't need it. And it's, these things are just fantastic. This thing, uh, it's just a great machine. It's got a good uh, cross sight screw and uh, you set these so they have like two thousandths on the dial before the uh, cross slide moves and that way you can index this thing in on this scale for your tool position it's just very very easy to use nice machine here now this one I gotta keep <laughs> This radio drill. <laughs> I think uh, tomorrow uh, we'll get into the uh, uh, the working head here and uh, have a look at things. And uh, I noticed that the spindle bearings need to be adjusted slightly, so we'll have a look at that. Okay, you guys have a good evening.